Rojo says, SQL T SQL is written in islands in my company. Oh, that's a neat way of thinking of it. This is reports, C sharp code, devs. Where is the proper placement of the poor old database administrator who has to find their bad queries? Should we put them in the front like a traffic cop or in the end like a safety net of bad performance in prod? This seems very tricky either way. Okay, what you really have there is two separate questions. One is who does the DBA report to? If your goal as a database administrator is to do performance tuning, if you're like your main job duty is performance tuning, because there's two kinds of DBAs. There's like the uptime DBAs and the performance tuning DBAs, and there's the kind who try to do both and they're, they're not very good at it. But if you're a performance tuning DBA, because you said you have to find the bad queries, I find that it's most helpful if that person reports to whoever pays the licensing and hosting costs for the server. Because it's that DBA's job goal to keep the licensing and hosting costs down while making performance fast. Because it's real easy to keep your hardware and licensing costs down by simply dropping it to a four core, eight gig of RAM instance. But that doesn't make the queries fast. You got to do both of those at the same time. So by putting them under the, the purvey or under the, the hierarchy of the person who pays the licensing fees, that makes sure that they're focused on that. Whereas if they report to the development team, the development team is going to subdue them for, you know, subvert them into doing all kinds of other stuff like building new features for an app because that's what's more important to them. Um, the other part of your question is, when does the DBA get involved? Do they get involved when the queries are being written in the beginning of the application lifestyle cycle? Um, or do they get involved at the end after the apps are already deployed uh, and it's in production and you got to go start doing some tuning there? If, if you're a good, diligent tech professional, you probably want or you think you want to be involved at the beginning. You probably think that you want to help shepherd the app into making good decisions. But if you're understaffed, you're not going to be able to keep up with the developers slinging code, you're going to become a bottleneck for them. You're going to get a reputation for saying no all the time. So for me, I, I really kind of prefer letting them sling whatever code they want, and then I'll come in afterwards only for the ugliest stuff and try to help them fix the ugliest stuff. Because after all, a lot of stuff that we build, customers never use. A lot of the features that we build, we can't predict what customers are going to latch on to, what they're going to have a good time with. Uh, so we end up just having to, uh, 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 you know, like I wouldn't want to waste time uh, performance tuning something that never becomes popular um, or something that we have to rewrite anyway because the customers want to use it differently. So that's why I'm more of a fan of being on the back end. Is that an appropriate thing?